Hi, uh, welcome to my YouTube series um, on working with environment variable in Flutter. Uh, in this series, we would look at how to set environment variable without using third party dependency and how to work with super powered environment variables. Uh, the Flutter uh, framework gives us command line arguments uh, or arguments that which you can use to set environment variables at compile time. Uh, one of these is the dat define command and the other is the dat define from file command. Let's see what the doc says about it. So, running the help command. Um, yeah, dat define additional key value pairs available as constraints from the string, bool, and int. From environment constructors multiple defines can be passed by repeating the dat define multiple times we also have the dat define from file command which is the path of a json or env file containing key value pairs available as environment variables all right this means the flutter engine highly supports setting environment variables at compile time without third party dependency i think the EMV capability came with the Flutter 3.13 family, but prior to that family, you use config JSON instead of .env. Let's see how this works. To set a simple environment variable, we use the that define command, set the variable name and its value. So, uh, ignore this LVM. Yeah, I'm using LVM as um, my Flutter installation manager, right? So Flutter environment manager. I think I have a couple of Flutter environments here, so ignore. Uh, Flutter run that define app name sets as demo test. So, running this, uh, we set an environment variable call app name which you can call from the environment using the string from environment's uh, constructor so let's see how it works now to call the app name string does from environment app name as a constant name all right so we have the app name demo test right uh, from our application directly for multiple environment variables you could set that defined for n number of environment variables however that would get so clumsy and you are advised to use the dat define from file command which works with a json or a env file for json you create a simple json i uh, will call mine config.json to hold the environment variables we have the app name let me call it uh, demo config and then we have um base url s it's of dot com yeah so how do we work with this similar to how the that define command works but this time is that defined from file command that defined from file and we pass the file and we pass the file name we have the file as config.json please note that this file does not necessarily have to be at in the project root it could be anywhere but you have to specify the path the file so running this we should have the environment variable app name and base URL, which we could call using um, the string from environment constructor. 
So to be sure it works, we've set a different app name from earlier. So we should have demo config here on our emulator. All right, that works, demo config. You could also get the base URL. You could also get the base URL. Base URL. Let's check that that works. all right so we have it here um the name and the app name and the base url so similarly for dot env files we create a simple dot env simple dot env and we set uh, the environment variables key value we also pass that But I run that define from file, but this time uh, our dot env file. Okay, just where the environment variables are not available. All right, we should have an empty string. Now we could try it out. Let's see, an empty string or it blows our app. Yes, so we have demo config as the app name and base URL as this. Uh, to confirm the behavior when the environment variable is not specified, uh, let's use API key, for example. All right, so you see, we can see that uh, it's empty because it's not available. We don't have it there. So going back to base URL. Yes, so we have it, um, our base URL and the app name. Of course, passing this uh, command every now and then could be a hassle for us. Could be some kind of hassle. So you could go to your launch configuration or whatever ID you are working with and set additional arguments or tool arguments. If we have got this tool argument, so that's define from file. Here the file is our dot env. For those working from Android Studio and IntelliJ, I think you have it as a debug config run slash debug configuration so you could always set additional run arguments there so to try, try this out um we launch with this launch configuration So using this launch, this launch configuration, um, yes, we have our environment variable available to us. So this is how to work with environment variable without talkback dependency and by using capabilities that are provided to the Flutter engine out of the box. Uh, this command works in both debug mode and release mode and profile mode right it works whatever build mode you're working with 
uh, you could also use this command even in your CI environment. So whichever way you want to use it, uh, it works. As long as you are passing the correct command and you are setting the correct environment variable, you should also call the correct environment variable from your code. Um, that is for this video. Uh, in our next video, we'll be looking at super powered environment variables. Uh, in the description, I will also be attaching links to other literature and materials that we can check out for working with environment variables in Flutter. Yeah, see you next time.